Welcome to another video from explainingcomputers.com and to this June 2019 channel update. Yes, it's been six months since I've talked to you like this to let you know what's going on with me and the channel, and it's come around rather quickly. Six months have flown by. It's been very exciting. Not least earlier this week, we had the launch of the Raspberry Pi 4B. That was exciting. It's been hectic around here. And since I spoke to you like this back in what late December 2018, the channel has passed 400,000 subscribers. Indeed, it's just past 440,000 subscribers. So fingers crossed by the next time I talk to you like this at the end of 2019, we may have half a million people subscribed to this community here on Explaining Computers. Let's hope that happens. And thanks to everybody who has subscribed and remains subscribed and watches the channel. So what's been going on in the last six months? Well, the big thing was we had the Ryzen PC build covering six episodes. And that was with a second generation Ryzen. I even added lighting, if you might remember. Some people didn't like that. I wanted to try it. And we've now got the third generation Ryzen chips launching about a week from the upload date of this video. We've also had a bit of retro. We've looked at Windows CE. We've looked at Risk OS on the Raspberry Pi. And we've also done some automation on the Raspberry Pi. And we've done some other things like cloud computing that wasn't quite as popular. And of course, there have been new single board computers other than the Raspberry Pi 4B. We've had the Rock Pi 4. I've looked at the Orange Pi 3. And I've also looked at the Jetson Nano. And I certainly intend on returning to the Jetson Nano. So, Having mentioned that, it's clearly a good time now to discuss what's coming up on the channel. Greetings, people. Here I am at my desk. This is where uh, Explaining Computers is put together. And I think I did a desk tour. Well, I know I did a desk tour of, uh, of the desk quite a while back now. I think it was at the 100th Explaining Computers video, and we've just passed the 250th. So. That must be about three years ago, but I'll put a link to the desk tour up there somewhere on the screen. I'll put a card in there if you want to have a look at that. Not much has changed since, just basically more storage. And before some of you scream about it in, in, in the comments in, in, your, in your typing, yes, I use a 5.4 monitor. I find the 5.4 screen, not a 4.3 screen, a 5.4 screen, are better for writing. But there are other screens here, two others as you can see, which make it all work for video as well. It all works out. Anyway. What was I talking about? Oh yes, what is coming up on Explaining Computers? And I mentioned the uh, Jetson Nano, which is uh, hiding back here. There it is, and it's a nice little uh, green box with the elastic band on. We could uh, play tunes on that, couldn't we? Anyway, the Jetson Nano will be coming up on the channel very soon uh, in a video where it's going to be compared with the Raspberry Pi 4B. There we are, my two favourite new single board computers of early 2019 or mid 2019 will be in a video together next week because I want to compare their performance but also compare their performance against the uh, the previous Raspberry Pi 3B and the 3B plus so you can get a real feel of what is the best upgrade from a Raspberry Pi 3 is it a, a Raspberry Pi 4B or a, a Jetson Nano if you want more power I'll be looking at that and I'm also going to be looking fairly soon at putting the Jetson Nano on a robot, on what's called a Jetbot, which is basically a, a set of designs for building a robot using a Jetson Nano to have an AI-controlled robot, a vision-controlled robot. NVIDIA have kindly sent me all the stuff to do that. That'll be coming up on the channel fairly soon. And also in terms of comparisons, I'm going to be doing a comparison video comparing the uh, Atomic Pi. Remember that, it's only a week ago it was on the channel. It seems a long time to me, but I'll be comparing the Atomic Pi with the original Latte Panda 232, what we now call the Latte Panda version 1.0. That might be an interesting comparison. So uh, those will be coming up. What else is coming up, you cry? Oh, look, I've just noticed. Here's Mr. Scissors. Some of you have said, where's Mr. Scissors? Well, here he is. There we are, making a big uh, cutting motions for you. I know some of you like Mr. Scissors, some of you hate Mr. Scissors. He will still be around when needed to cut things while I'm opening things up. Anyway, what else is coming up? Well, here I've got my tablet, and uh, many of you say to me in the comments recently, you said, Chris, how do you plan it out? How do you keep track of everything for the channel? And the answer is, I have a document, and uh, 
here it is, look, you can see my document there. Do not look if you don't want to know what's coming up. And basically this is a Google Doc and every time I get an idea or an email related to the channel, possible video, or every time one of you makes a comment in the comments saying, why don't you do a video on X? I make a, a note in this document. And at the top of this document, it's all very, very neat. These are videos that will definitely be coming up or almost certainly they've got proper titles, dates, I've started shooting in some cases, I've started writing stuff, uh, things have arrived from different companies. And as we go down, it gets more and more vague as we go down this document and things down here start just to get into vague notes format. There's 43 pages here at the moment, so uh, let me find where we are. But uh, there we are, coming up. In fact, until the, in theory, the 29th of September, I know exactly what's coming up. That might not be true, but that's, uh, that's what's booked in at the moment. So in addition to uh, the videos comparing different SBCs, there's definitely going to be a cooling video about the Raspberry Pi 4B. Uh, many of you have said in the comments on the Raspberry Pi 4B video, there's no holes in this box in the official case. There isn't. What about ventilation? I think that's a very, very significant point. I have run this board now for some time. And uh, certainly if you have the case closed, and you're doing things like say video playback, it gets very, very warm inside this box. I would think we will need to have some form of ventilation in, in cases for a Raspberry Pi 4B. It's a more powerful board than we've had previously for a Pi, uses more energy, creates more heat, it's inevitable. And I think cooling will be important. So in a video fairly soon, I'm going to be looking at the uh, Raspberry Pi uh, 4B in terms of lots of different cooling solutions, starting with it in this case closed, and then basically going all the way up to massive fans and heat sinks to see how that works out. Also coming up in terms of SBCs, there's going to be a video about the Cardass Edge 5. That looks an interesting little board. And also about the Latte Panda Alpha's case and touchscreen. They've arrived for review. They also look rather interesting. And in addition to the JetBot robot, I will go back, I promise, to the robot down here. This is my... Uh, Devastator robot controlled currently, probably still in the future by a Raspberry Pi Zero. I want to do speed control, various things with the, with the video output. I know some of you are following along with this, they want a new episode. It will happen eventually. I'm really struggling at the moment to fit everything in whilst not going completely for SBCs all the time. I do want to keep a balance roughly every other week as an SBC and then something different. And in terms of something different, we're going to be having all sorts of things. If I look down here, we've got various Linux operating system videos on, on, on PCs. We've got quantum computing coming up for its 2019 update. We've got uh, things like edge computing, video editing. I want to try out DaVinci Resolve and Linux Mint, for example. So there's lots of things coming up. 3D printing at the uh, TCT show in September, all that kind of stuff. RAM upgrades, uh, various uh, legacy operating systems. Oh, and I'm also going to go back to the Ryzen PC I built and do a video comparing the Ryzen 3 PC to the first PC I ever built back in 1996, or at least the first IBM compatible PC. And I've now found that, didn't think I had it. I did find it uh, not that long ago. It was under the bed somewhere in a, in a bag, uh, the way computers sometimes are around here. And I'm gonna do a video comparing that old and new build. I think that'll be a, a fascinating thing to do. Still going to make it work yet, but it'll all, that'll all hopefully happen. So lots of things are going to be coming up on the channel. And I will try to stick to a philosophy that was just told to me by my partner manager at YouTube. I've just been speaking to her, Layla, speaking to her only a half an hour ago. And I wrote down on this, this very post-it note, it says, combine popularity with novelty. Keep doing the things people like, do other things as well. I will keep trying to do that. And not just on this channel, I also have another channel called Explaining the Future, as you may know. I haven't posted there for quite a while. Sorry about that if you're a subscriber to that channel. I do plan on getting back to it. Over here, there is a note. I'll give you a shot of it. Look, it says Space Elevators. I'm planning on doing a video about, guess what? Space Elevators. It's not a difficult system here. I've got, it has to be simple for me. I write down Space Elevators, hope to make a video on that. Anyway, that is what's coming up for me on YouTube fairly soon. Hope at least some of that appeals to you and you'll keep watching the channel. So 
here we are at the end of another update video. My, how those months and years fly by. And I thought to finish off, I'd ask you a favor, if I may. Some of you often say, what can we do to support the channel? Here's something you can do. Now, as you may know, on YouTube, there are sometimes issues with videos being demonetized, flagged as unsuitable for advertisers by the algorithm, even though it's not actually correct. And they've been fine for, for years and years previously. And I've got one such video out of the 300 and something videos I've got on this channel and explaining the future, my other channel, one video, a video called Bioprinting, is now flagged as unsuitable for advertisers. And YouTube have looked at it and gone, yes, but uh, we won't do anything about it until it's had a thousand views in a week. So you can tell what's coming, can't you? This video, this bioprinting video, gets about a few hundred views a week now. It's got a quite a popular video, over 400,000 views, but it's not that, that popular in terms of a thousand views a week. So if you could just go and click on my bioprinting video, there'll be a little thing up here to give you a link. There'll be a link in the video description. I'll put it on the end card. If a thousand of you could click on bioprinting in a week, then hopefully YouTube will actually honor what they said they'll do and actually get rid of the, the problem with the video. And all my videos will be properly monetized and they won't really risk to my channel having problems in the future, which is actually good for all of you who want to keep watching my channel because they're all linked together in terms of the monetization. Anyway, there we are. That's my request to you. Other than that, I hope you're all doing well. Hope your lives are going as well as they possibly can be. Uh, but now uh, that is it for another video. If you've enjoyed what you've seen here, please smash that like button. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe, and I hope to talk to you again very soon.